you must have the wisdom to understand that the form and mind, this one is not you. This one is anatta, empty nature. That's why we call it non-self. Non-self doesn't mean eh, there is nothing inside that. No. There is a human being. There is a form and mind. But it's not you. It doesn't belong to you. Why? It's not a permanent, unchanging entity. This one is dependent, originating, condition arising, cause of phenomena. That's why you can see. That's why in the teaching, the Buddha mentioned it. But people cannot understand. People thought he contradicted himself. He said the Buddha teach the three universal characteristics of anichang, dukkang, alatta, non-self. Of course, the empty nature, they don't understand. They always interpret anatta as non-self. Then the Buddha, on the fifth daily contemplation, mentioned, we are all born of our karma, heir to our karma, condition and support by our karma. And we are what we are because of our karma. So, do you think the Buddha contradict himself? Or the Buddha don't have to understand it? No, he's referring to the form and mind. The form and mind has an entity. But this is not a permanent, unchanging entity. That's why it's subject to change. It's impermanent. There is the conventional truth of a self, an atta, for the form and mind. That's why the form and mind is subject to karma. It recognizes relationship and all those things. Like duality and the mark belong to the conditioned world. So the Dhamma is so profound where people cannot understand. So it's not about, like most people think, throw the self away, abandon the self, uh, that you will have non-self or no self. It is not like that. Non-self here means not to be deluded by the form of mind, thinking that it's you, thinking that this one belongs to you, because this one goes the way of nature. When the condition is to be, when consciousness is separate from the form, then they say you die. How can you die? If it can die, I mean, it's not you. Understand? Or not? <laughs> so all this understanding is lacking, not there. That's why they can't penetrate. So anyway, here is what Shenhua used to describe. Huh? So we just uh, make sure you understand. Huh? Mm. Then he goes on. Uh, the other part is better. Huh? He said, now we will discuss the three phases of thought. Uh, based here in the commentary, he didn't explain it so completely. What I explained earlier on to you all on is better. Huh? This is about the three period of time, huh? the three period of thought process. So in Mahayana, they call Kuo Chi Sing Bu Ke De, means the mind that has passed huh? cannot be obtained. Then, xian zai xing means the present mind, also cannot be obtained. Uh, then there is also this future mind, wei lai xing ye bu ke de. Means this three period of time, they are not what you think. Where well, the past is already gone. No more reality. Pukata means no more reality, gone. Future, yet to come, also no more reality. Then the present moment is the only reality in life, the highest in life, within life. But why did the Mayana say the present moment also? You cannot 
her habit book her the the meaning is because this present moment which is the only reality in life or the highest in life is not what you think because split second is day and gone it arises and pass away very fast that's why this one unless you are mindful and aware you cannot see it. so in order to transcend life you must transcend even the present moment yet the present moment is still within the field of thought you must cease your thought to realize the unconditioned nibbana to liberate your mind to free your mind from the fender that's why to transcend life been liao sen in my na the more mandarin the xian cai xin ye bu ke da then the other wider spectrum is when we talk about life we relate to existence is it? to have life we have to go through existence is it? true or not it's related if you don't exist how can you have life so life is related to existence and existence is time based So the whole spectrum of time or existence can be divided into past, present, and future. That's why the three period, and we already define them. They are all not what you think. The only reality is that moment, and split second is day and gone. How real can it be? Moment to moment, life passes by, and they are just like a lightning flash. gone what are you doing ask yourself that question inquire into it then you will awake most human being even yourself unless you have trained and develop the mindfulness the awareness and the understanding you can never leave the moment you can never be with the moment you can never live life moment to moment most people are lost in thought heedlessly thinking lost in thought they are too busy thinking planning and worrying about life so much so they never live life they are never aware hardly aware 